Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 4.8, zeros in the product. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to multiply decimals with zeros in the product. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Let's begin by reading the unlock the problem. It says, when decimals are multiplied, the product may not have enough digits to place the decimal point. In these cases, you may need to add additional zeros. It says, students are racing typical garden snails and measuring the distance that the snails travel in one minute. Chris's snail travels a distance of 0.1 foot. Jamie's snail travels 0.4 times as far as Chris's snail. How far does Jamie's snail travel? In the blue box, it says using the given information, describe what we are being asked to find. Well, we need to find what is 0 0.4 times as much as Chris, which is 0 0.2. So now let's go ahead and multiply these. Step one says let's multiply it as if it were a whole number. So if we look at the numbers that are not zeros, we have a four and a two. So two times four is eight. But now we know that those numbers are not actually whole numbers. So step two says determine the position of the decimal point. Since tenths are being multiplied, then we will be we will have hundredths in our answer because 10 times 10 is 100. So when we answer, we should have a hundredth. Okay, so now it says step three says place the decimal point. Are there enough decimals in the product to place the decimal point? So if we have two times four is eight and then four times zero is zero, and then we go to our magic zero, and we say zero times two is zero, and zero times zero is zero. We add the both together, we get eight, zero, zero. So were there enough places without all those zeros? No, now we need to add our decimals. We counted one place value here, and one place value here, so that makes two place values, so I need to count one, two. So my answer is going to be 0 0.08 because those two decimal points, I need to add zeros in so that I get a correct number. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's continue on with the example. In this example, we are multiplying money. We are multiplying 20, 0 0.2 times 30 cents. So step one, as always, says we're going to multiply the whole numbers just like we normally would. So let's look at the numbers that are not zeros. We're going to multiply 30 times 2. Well, 30 times 2 is going to give us 60. But now we need to decide what to do with all those zeros in the product. So let's look at where our decimal is going to end up. If I have one, two decimal places and then one decimal place, that means I have three decimal places, which is going to be in the thousands. All right, now let's go ahead and multiply to figure out what that number is. So two times zero is zero, two times three is six, 2 times 0 is 0. Now I'm going to add my magic 0. 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. And 0 times 0 is 0. And I'm going to add them together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 0 is 6. 0, 0. And now we said we needed to move over three decimal points because I have 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to move over 1 two, three. So our answer should be 0 
point zero six zero. And when we're talking about cents, we can actually drop the zero at the end because when we talk about money, we don't need that extra decimal point at the end. So this would be about six cents. So our answer is going to be zero point zero six, like six pennies. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's do the lesson activity. The lesson activity has us multiplying and finding the product. I'll do number one with you. Six times five is 30. So the three goes on top and the zero goes underneath. Five times zero is zero plus three is three. Five times zero is zero, not add your magic zero. And everything across the bottom is going to be zeros. Zero times six, zero. Zero times zero, zero. Zero times zero, zero. Now add them all together. Zero, three, zero, zero. Now let's place our decimal. So our decimal, we're gonna need one, two, three place values all together. So we're going to move over one, two, three place values. So our answer is 0 0.030. So multiply just like it's a regular number and then count your decimal places or your swoopies to move your decimal point. You do problem number two in your math notebook. Great job, fifth graders.